Oliver, African banking does not have a prominent place in many investor portfolios here in Europe or over in the United States. And recent events at Ecobank of Nigeria would seem to confirm investor prejudices with that bank uh, parting ways with its CEO after a long controversy. Uh, is this as sort of frightening as it looks? It certainly looks frightening. As you say, there's been a, a long controversy, a, a scathing report issued by the Nigerian regulator at the start of the year, criticizing very deeply Ecobank's governance and its decision-making processes. There was an EGM, the major shareholders not been happy. And finally, the, the chief executive, who was at the source of a lot of the controversy, has departed. Um, but take a step back, and, and Ecobank doesn't quite look so bad. It's a, a pan-African bank. It operates in 35 countries. Its mm. biggest market is Nigeria. And it's done pretty well on, on delivering on uh, what the founders hoped for. I would say even better, having had a quick look at the numbers. Revenues are 10 times higher than they were 10 years ago. Geographically dispersed revenues and a third of its revenues comes from fee income. Now, if you had those characteristics in a bank that was not in an emerging market, people would be jumping up and down about it. But this stock is cheap. So is the, is the governance controversy really worth this big di discount? Well, the, the shares are cheap. I mean, about six times forward earnings, which is, which is fairly low for a bank. Now, Shareholders, aside from the governance controversy, have been fairly sanguine. The, the shares are fairly flat over the past 12 months. And mm. yes, they're down this year, but then a lot of emerging markets companies are down this year, and other Nigerian banks are also down heavily this year. So you, it's done fairly well in, in, in the context of what else has been happening in 2014. But in, in terms of whether people should jump into it, it it's still got risks. It, it's got a new plan in place, a 51-point governance plan to improve things on that side. It's a um, lot of points. It's <laughs> an awful lot of points. Um, <laughs> but still people will be nervous uh, and, and one of the questions I guess is how nervous depositors have been. I mean, the shareholders might have kept the share price flat but Ecobank depends an awful lot on deposits for its funding and, and I wonder how happy the depositors will have been with what's happening. So we'll look forward to seeing that next balance sheet. Yeah, indeed. We're, we're due to hear full year results. Not until June, though. It's a December year end. We won't hear results for another few months yet, which will be a few more months of uncertainty for anyone who holds the shares, I think. Thanks very much.